No dumping, no littering, $500 fine. Somebody owes some money. <laughs> Guys, check it out. I'm out today running around Talmadge. Came out here to pick something up, and so I found a bunch of places to film. Behind me here's an abandoned IGA. I think this has been filmed before by a couple of people, but I couldn't resist it, so here we go. We still got the sign up here in the front, and as you can see, there's a family dollar sign on top of it. The family dollar is right out here, and uh, still in business, although I do see a big clearance sign, so I don't know if that means that they're gonna be going out of business or if they just have some clearance items in there. Probably just the clearance items. Otherwise it would say going out of business. <laughs> but here is your Ellet IGA, hometown proud, with the letters starting to crumble. Before we walk up there, I noticed something else out here too. It's a payphone, guys. We always have to stop and see the payphones because they're disappearing at alarming record rates. Here we go. Will there be a dial tone? Oh my God, there's a dial tone! Listen guys, I don't know if you can hear it. Where do I have to put it? It's so loud out here, I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know, that's, that's pretty amazing though. Wally, I keep telling you I am not gonna do that, you sicko! Guys, I just had to take some selfies with the payphone and all these people are out here looking at me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> if you want to see awesome selfies of payphones, go to Wally's channel on Facebook. It's Wally B26 and Friends. And make sure you come over to mine too. It's called That Nate Guys and Gals. Now let's go check out this IGA. So here's what this place looks like. Like I said, there's that family dollar down there. Trucking stuff in, so it's probably not going out of business. I see a yellow cart up here. I would guess that's probably a dollar general cart but let's go check this place out look at how the letters are kind of crumbling up there the iga sign stands proud though as well as most of the meat <laughs> hometown proud that one's kind of crumbling too And then we got this sign here. This would actually be a really cool sign to have, although it's a lot bigger than you think. Like, look how big this thing actually is. It's enormous. All right, let's see if we can get a look in here. Ooh, ceiling's falling. Yeah, look at that. I wonder if somebody tried to break in there. You see these dumb criminal videos on YouTube where people like try to crawl through the vents and then they fall to their death. They're not really their death, but they usually fall on like a bunch of candy or something. Let's go down here, see if we can see some more. There's the Ohio Lottery thing in there. That would have been probably the customer service center, desk, whatever you call it. Big wide open area. You can see the footprints of where all the uh, the aisles, the shelves were. And then right in front of us there, that's where all the checkouts would have been. Let's walk down here. Here's where they would have caught you when you were stealing stuff. In-store special, final days. I wonder when this place closed. I know it's been closed for quite a while now. Yeah, Dollar General. I knew it. I knew it was going to be a Dollar General cart. I don't think I've ever seen yellow carts before, but they look awesome. So yeah, here's the coffee sign. Anything down here? Nothing down there, just the side of the building. Now let's peek in here. A lady just walked by that told me they closed like four or five years ago. There's the IGA beer sign up there. Look, they still got the prices. I don't smoke, so I don't know how that compares to nowadays prices. Anybody who smokes in the comments, let me know. Can you get a pack of Winston's for $5.49 now? God, that's a lot of money. There's the doors to go in. 
I'll bet you anything that bucket right there used to be full of uh, salt. That one, same thing right there. I bet those are both full of salt for the sidewalk. Person just took off their jacket, dropped it, called it a day. <laughs> Step out here for a second. Get a shot from the corner. Yeah, there it is. I wanna, I'm wanna. i kind of curious about the back here. I'm going to walk around there. But there's the front. Yeah, let's walk around the back here. I just want to see. This doesn't strike me as too bad of an area, so I don't think I'm going to walk into murder here. <laughs> you never know, though. Never know. Are you going to murder me when I come around the corner? Watch somebody be here. Nope, nobody here. Whew, no murder today, but maybe a dog attack. Okay, <laughs> here we got apparently loading docks. I remember when the Super Kmart in New Philadelphia was abandoned, and uh, you see how this goes down in a slope. You know, that's how most loading docks are. There were two of these. Two? Maybe four. I don't remember. But in the winter time, they filled with water and it all froze solid. It was amazing. I just wonder how long these boxes have been sitting here, if they've actually been here since this place closed or what. Let's walk through here. Okay, I can't help it, I'm curious. No killers in the trash, please. Whew. Thank God I didn't get killed by the trash killer. <laughs> yep. One ring grocery. I don't hear anything. We got carts back here. A flannel shirt. You guys know I love the trash areas in these places. All right, what is this? What kind of cart? You guys recognize this cart? Maybe Giant Eagle or something. Red. We got this green one, which is probably... The heck is that? Anybody recognize what that is? Looks like a paw. Big bear? I don't know. I don't see any other markings, though. If you guys recognize those in the comments, let me know what they are. And then we have a totally different cart here, too. And this one doesn't have any markings, either, that I can see. What do you guys think these were? I especially like that green one. I don't know what it was, though. Somebody knows. Anything back here besides killers and murderers? Nope. Okay. Let's keep on walking here. Stop. No dumper. No, no dumpering. No dumping. No littering. $500 fine. Somebody owes some money. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, look at this stuff. I wonder if any of this stuff is actually here from the old store. I don't think so. I think, no, by now I'm behind the the family dollar. Yeah, that's all family dollar stuff there. But still, somebody owes some money. <laughs> somebody owes some more money. <laughs> oh my God, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, we're coming around the, uh, the family dollar here now. So, there it is. Family dollar. And there's the IGA right down there. Alright guys, that's really all there is to see. That's it. Talmadge, Ohio. Ellet IGA. And the scary family dollar where somebody owes some money. <laughs>